Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. Just in case you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome. So today I'm actually getting ready to go and wash my hair, but I figured that I would jump on here and film it because I want to do a little experimentation. Y'all know I love my little wash and go experiment. So we've done an experiment comparing gel versus mousse, where I did gel on one side, mousse on one side. But today I actually want to combine it and try gel and mousse together to see how that works. Are we going to get the best of both worlds? Is this going to be amazing or is this just going to be a flop? I don't know, but we're about to find out together. Before we jump in and head on over to my shower, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I mean, it's only right. You're sitting here watching my videos, so you might as well hit that notification bell as well in case you want to get a notification every single time a new video drops. All right, now let's go get started. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to meet y'all in the bathroom. All right, welcome to my bathroom. So right now, I actually have Olaplex number three at home treatment in my hair. It's like my OG number one all-time favorite treatment especially if you have any kind of damage it's basically just a little pre-cleanse treatment so what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and wash it out I'm gonna do a little co-wash and then I'll be back for when we're about to style with our gel and our mousse all right so like I said for our little experiment I want to be using mousse and gel today just to see how that little combination works for me I'm constantly always trying different wash and go experiments as y'all know wash and goes is like that's my go-to way of dealing with my hair so I will continue to do more of these wash and go experiments and styling tricks and different little things I'll do more of that if you guys want it so make sure to let me know below in the comments if you guys are enjoying these videos and I will keep them coming all right so the products that I'm gonna be using to style today are first a leave-in conditioner and this one is by care care it's their curlescence line and it's just their moisturizing leave-in conditioner this is my current favorite leave-in conditioner so so good it's just juicy and moisturizing it's especially good for really low porosity hair all right and then for mousse I'm gonna be using a mousse that I've used on hair before it's the Miao Babasu Brazilian curly cocktail curl mousse anytime I've used this I've really enjoyed it so I figured why not just try it today pair it with the gel and let's see how that goes and then for the gel I'm gonna use the Weed Dad advanced climate control heat and humidity gel this is a gel that I'm still kind of experimenting with so I figured why not try and experiment it with it a little bit more today in this video um, I've only used this twice before once with a Denman brush which was <clears throat> terrible and then I also used it recently with my fingers just scrunch it I didn't even rake it through just scrunch it but I didn't section my hair so I found that I got really good definition on the top but obviously not on the inside because I was too lazy to section it so yeah today I'm gonna make sure to use sections for sure but yeah I wanted to put this to the test a little bit more all right, let's jump straight in. I'm gonna go ahead and section out my hair. Ooh! Oh my gosh, my hair's in knots. Oh, who can relate? By the way, this towel is really nice. It's a huge microfiber towel. This is by the Pattern Beauty brand. It is really good I think it's actually my favorite microfiber towel it's got this straight edge so it just sits nicely over your shoulders and then the rest of it is kind of just rounded it's just I don't know it's great it's a great towel I love it figured I'd mention that just in case you're curious all right so y'all know I like to apply my products while my hair is dripping wet it clearly has had way too much time to dry my hair just dries really really quick hashtag low porosity so I am gonna go ahead and just use my DIY spray again just a mixture of water and conditioner y'all already know this and I'll re-wet each section as I go to make sure that my hair is nice and wet and saturated when I'm applying these products So once my hair is nice and wet, I'm just gonna go in with a leave-in conditioner and I am gonna comb this through my hair with my fingers. You'll see that I'm focusing a majority of the product more towards my ends because that's where I tend to need the most moisture. Are y'all seeing this length though? Yes. All right, and then once all the leave-in conditioner has been evenly distributed throughout the section, then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my mousse and I'm also gonna rake this through with my fingers. I kind of use a lot of mousse, but usually for mousse, I kind of like to go in because it's such a more lightweight kind of hold. So you can kind of like go in with the product and use a lot without having to worry about too much buildup just because the consistency of it is a lot more light. 
All right, and then once the mousse is all set, then I'm going in with the gel on top. Now for the gel, I'm just making sure to apply this with the palm of my hands. I'm not raking this through at all. I'm doing it this way in order to get a better amount of hold. All right, so here's what we're looking like so far. You can definitely still see a lot of the whiteness from the mousse, but I'm not so worried about that because that usually goes away once it's fully dry. I think we got a good level of definition too, honey. Frizz wear, this is actually looking really good so far. Okay, let's keep going. So I'm just going ahead and repeating the same exact steps for every section. Alright, so here's how we're looking so far. Definitely a lot of whiteness, but again, I'm kind of just expecting that to come out as it dries. I'm hoping that it's not a reaction of the mousse with the gel. But yeah, right now, I'm actually really impressed with how this is looking. Zero amount of frizz at the moment, and my curls feel so defined and also moisturized. This is one of the reasons why I kind of like using mousse. I just love the wet consistency of the mousse. I think it really helps to define my curls. And then by adding that layer of gel on top is really gonna like seal it in, get it all together. Like, kind of excited to see how this dries. I really might have found a little bit of magic here. I'm really hoping again that the products just work well together once dried and that I don't see any flaking. Cause if I see flaking, then it's gonna be like a huge no for me. But like see, it's already starting to dry. The whiteness is already starting to go away. And that's usually a really good sign. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse off camera. I literally just diffuse a little bit so that it stops dripping all over me, and then I air dry the rest of the way. So then I'll meet y'all back in the studio once it's fully dry, and then we can discuss the final results. Peace. All righty. So this is the final look, y'all, and I am impressed. So as you can see, there are no flakes, there's no frizz. Like, I am honestly, I'm seriously a little bit shook right now and I'm a little bit mad that I didn't try this sooner. So on a scale of curl definition and volume, we are somewhere in the middle, which is somewhere where I always love to be on a wash day. Slightly a little bit more on the defined side, but we still got like a good amount of volume happening here. I'm also really happy with the lack of frizz, honestly, because where, like frizz where, honey, I don't see any at all. So you know what that tells me? That tells me that this is actually gonna last me a while, like a good few days. Another thing we've got going on is a pretty decent level of shine, I feel like. Like it's not like dull looking defined curls. So I will say that my hair did dry with a little bit of a crunch, but we did see how much product I did apply, so I'm not really too like surprised by that, but I fluffed it out, crunched it up just a little bit, and zero flakes, lots of shine, and insane curl definition. I'm shook. I'm really shook. I'm really liking that my hair also feels very lightweight and fluffy. It doesn't feel weighed down, even though it's like very defined. So I'm having just a quick look at the products. Once again, like I usually don't use or purchase products that are unhealthy, you know, like the ones that have silicones, the ones that have a ton of like bad alcohols in them. So I'm just like having another quick look to make sure that these products are actually products that we can feel good about using. And off the bat, I'm really not seeing anything that is raising a red flag for me for any of these products. So I already know this leave-in is bomb, it's great, there's nothing wrong with it. I feel so happy using this. And then as for our whole products, the mousse and the gel, I'm not seeing silicones in either of them. In fact, in the Miel mousse, it actually says no parabens, sulfates, paraffins, mineral oils, synthetic colors, DEA, and also no animal testing. But y'all know I never mention or use any products that test on animals. So yeah, that really makes me even happier because not only do the products 
work really well but they have decent ingredients in there so that you can actually feel good about using them consistently wow this was an insanely great wash day so i don't ever say that it's a perfect wash and go unless i can recreate it a second time so I will definitely try recreating it probably a week from today and I'll put that on Instagram I usually share in my stories every single wash day like what I'm using and what I'm up to but this has really great potential to be a perfect wash day combo so that's it for this video you guys I really hope you found it useful if you did go ahead give your girl a thumbs up as usual and if you didn't subscribe please just go ahead hit that button right now make sure you hit the notification bell in case you want to get notified every single time a new video drops and ta -da! two more videos for you to check out as well I'll catch y'all in the next one bye